Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. I am bringing you this week's Aldi haul and my weekly meal plan. This week I went a little bit over my budget. It was about $2.35, but I did pick up some extra stuff and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a big thumbs up. I would love to have you guys join our little community. But I won't keep this one too long. I'll go ahead and get this started. Okay guys, starting over here, they had all kinds of produce on sale this week. So pineapple was like $1.89. So I got one of those. Kimloop still hasn't gone on sale this whole time, but it was still $2.49. Potatoes were kind of inflated. They were about $5.49. They used to be a $2.99 there. So I got a thing of potatoes. Got a watermelon. They were still on sale, but not as good as last week's price. They were about $4.49 for the uh, seedless ones. So got that. The bananas. I've got some of those. They weren't looking too, too good this week in there, so we just got a little thing. We got some spinach to mix with the garden salad to make it last longer. We got some red onions. Got Ryan's avocados. Berries were still on sale this week. I don't think as cheap as they were last week, but they were still $1.89. So we got four of those. The blueberries, or the blackberries were $1.49 on sale. So Lainey, or Emily was with me shopping today and she loves blackberries. So we got four of those. Blueberries were also on sale this week at Aldi. They were $1.69. Um, so we got three of those. And then I got some icing. I know that doesn't go together, fruit and then icing. But it is Tanner's birthday, actually, the day I am filming this. So I got some icing because he doesn't like cake. He likes brownies. So we're going to make a brownie cake. Then I got some Parmesan cheese. These look terrible, but these are the only two cans left in the entire store. So I got two of these. As you can see, that's why it looks that bad. I got some ketchup. We're gonna try this this time. We were gonna make the Nutella popsicles. If I finally do, I'll share it with you. Got some peanut butter, crunchy, and then the kids like the creamy. Evaporated milk is for a recipe. Then we got chocolate chips, because we always pick those up. They finally have these back in stock. These have been missing for about a month. And they finally had the tuna packets. I don't know, but they I would ask about them, but they just didn't have them in stock lately. So those were back in. We got some taco seasoning because if you guys are new here, I buy this every time I go to the store. And yes, I can buy a big thing at Sam's, but I still prefer these packs over the Sam's kind. So there is that side. Coming over here, we got some cinnamon rolls because the kids like that sometimes. Got some egg whites. We got the pulp free chop 50. If you guys have never had this, this tastes just like the um, Tropicana 50, only it's like $3 less than that. Stock, if you guys have an Aldi, stock is the cheapest. This is my favorite uh, cold brew. It's about $4.49 there. I know Walmart in our area is $5.89 for this. Then we got some almond milk, some regular milk. Emily picked up some bologna. This happens every single week. Cashier did this this time, so it broke. But we got my protein yogurt. So. I got some beef this week, so if Phyllis or Mama Mel are watching this, y'all, I got beef. This was actually one of their seasonal buys. They even were trying to sell the sauce above it. Um, it was $6.99, so you get four of these. And they had some other type of meat that wasn't Wahlburgers, some other type of beef uh, for the grill. I don't know, but this looked better than that, so we'll give this a try. This is real beef, guys. This isn't chicken or turkey. And look at this. I got a second thing of real beef. This was actually on sale this week. It was $3.99 for a pound. Still not as cheap as my ground turkey, but I did pick up some beef. So you guys will be happy. I got Ryan some real meat. <laughs> then I got some chicken. Got a lot of that in stock. Some cheese. Of course, I got ground chicken for my taco meat. Then I did get two packs of ground turkey, but it's a compromise. So... Moving over here, we got some shredded cheese, got some Greek yogurt. I'm gonna try to make something with that fruit and this Greek yogurt. If I do, I'll share it. Got some guac, it's our, one of our weekly items we get. I got this, um, this is, I eat this all the time, but I'm gonna try to make those Nutella bars out of it. They did not have the sugar-free creamer, so I did get this, um, cause I think Ryan likes caramel stuff. So I got this, they didn't have what I was looking for and we don't like hazelnut. Got some fries, got these little things, 
These little snack packs. These are really good in yogurt. Then this was something I hadn't seen. I don't know if I've ever seen this there. I've only seen the little miniature bags of the turtles, which are just basically goldfish, but you get like five ounces more than the goldfish. So this was a big box. I think it was $4.19 for that huge box. Emily likes Honey Nut Cheerios, got those. Um, got some popcorn. There's some brownie mix for Tanner. There are those breakfast patties. So these are actually on sale. And yes, guys, these are pretty good. No, they're not pork, but these are pretty good. Got the kids those, we put those in the freezer. I was looking for Oreo ice cream for Tanner's birthday, but they didn't have it. So I just got chocolate because he likes chocolate. And then they finally have this. This was something we were looking for before. And they have a whole bunch of like Sunday stuff to make Sundays on the end cap. Got some granola bars, got some fiber bars, rice cakes. Then chip corner over here that we always have. Um, the, these taste just like Doritos. So if you've, if you've contemplated that, I know some of you have before, you've said in the comments, these do taste like Doritos, but some of the kids like nacho and some like the cooler ranch flavor. So got those, got the blue corn chips. I haven't bought these in a while, but these are my, these are only $1.99 and my black bean chips are like $3. So I picked these up on sale. This I was happy to see. These are very good. I mean, they're not the best chips ever, but these are those protein chips and they were only $2.99 in there. So this is a seasonal buy. They have two flavors. I prefer the buffalo. And then of course we always get tortilla chips. Got some peanuts. Got these for that little, um, I, I need to order my Nespresso, but since I haven't done that and I have that coffee maker I reviewed, I've been using French vanilla in the morning because I like the flavor. Rotel, cooking spray, and then got the generic Fig Newton bars for the kids. So there is that side. Coming over here, I got water again. I swear I'm gonna go to Sam's and get some because I know it's cheaper there, but this is $3.29. And I know I've done a video and told you guys not to buy paper products and stuff there unless you just don't wanna to have to run somewhere because it does cost more. This was $7.49. I will be getting these two items at Sam's when I go next time, but I picked them up out of convenience. This, I've eyed this for a while, and this was in the clearance for like $3 and something. So I went ahead and picked these up because I only have one, and I've always needed a second one. So, and it comes with a little wooden thing. So check out your clearance aisle if there's something you're needing. Freezer bags, they had uh, the dog biscuits back in stock. Eggs, they are still having a limit on how many eggs you can get. Four things of bread, some tortillas, some buns, and that is all all of this plus all of this plus all of this was about 235 so i did exceed my amount but i picked up extra this week okay coming over here and in no particular order guys i didn't get some of the meals done last week that i had on my meal plan so we're just going with it we've had a lot of sports going on so we'll start with monday you guys will see this video on tuesday but we'll start with monday so um, this is something new. This is called, you guys requested to make some depression meals. So these were the ones that actually sounded appetizing out of the mixture. Cause some of them, we just, there was no way we were going to be able to do those. So depression meatloaf, um, some form of potatoes and green beans. And then this is called depression sink or swim over shingles is what they called it with potato stacks. So these are two depression meals. So these should be very interesting. Then this was on the meal plan last week we didn't get to because honestly I need a new can opener. So chili dogs, french fries, veggies, something like that. This was a new recipe, pantry chili and probably have that with sandwiches. Hamburger potato bake and corn. If I don't do that, I will do the soup. A pear cheeseburger ramen casserole. I was, like I said, this was on last week's menu but I'm just putting it back up there. And then copycat Mexican pizzas with Spanish rice. I went to Taco Bell to get those the other day and they did not have them at all. I don't think anybody's had them lately. So I was going to try to just go ahead and make them myself. And then these are two types of recipes, depression era type um, sweets. So there's a cookie recipe and a cake one. So I'm going to try to make those and share it with you. But there is just a really random meal plan for the week, guys. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas of what your Aldi has in store right now. 
please subscribe if you haven't already and share with a friend if you think there's somebody that might like my type of content and if you guys are not already come follow me on instagram say hey it's the same name small town six and i appreciate all of you guys love you all and i will see you in the next video bye